Hello, B Squad, and welcome back to another episode of B Girl TV. Welcome back guys, welcome back to my canal de YouTube and I am back with another vlog. Today is Saturday and yes, I haven't even, last week I wasn't able to vlog because as much as I wanted to because I was super busy. I had this crazy sale in my clothing store so orders were ridiculous. I'm actually on my way to the store now because I have some other orders that I want to get out today. And um, I want to get them out before 12 o'clock. So I'm up early. I'm waiting for the babysitter. She's late. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, and then when she comes, I'll be out. Ready to go. Baby girl is sleeping. Amir is up. I mean, you want to say hi to, to the vlog? Hola. No, I mean, like, do you want, like, a. Like a yeah. This boy, look what he's doing. Hi. Yeah, honestly speaking, he has, he's, uh, my man is giving preteen vibes as of late, so we're still working out the kinks. We're still working out the kinks on how to deal with the preteen, because um, it's working my nerves. It's working my nerves. Lucy just came. So guys, Lucy just came. I packed my car. Um, with some of the stuff that I have to bring to the store because people have purchased it. So I'm trying to hurry up and get there now. I'm like, what time is it? 13 minutes late, but it is what, why is my next, my neighbor texting me? Let's see what she want. Oh. Um, my neighbor is so nosy. She is probably scared of me. Why you do that to her? Let's get the red potion. What red potion? What if I dark in this house? We have the queen for the princess. So we guys, have I totally forgot to vlog because today was such a busy day in the store. <gasps> How could you? I know, right? Yeah, no. But right. now I'm at my mom's house with the kids and I'm waiting for my mother to cook because she said she was making fish. Calm your horses. I'm going to you because I'm being a good brother. But I and like she's not even here to make the fish. So we're just here. So yeah, we're just living. We're just living, like a man said, we just living. It's existing. Why is she, oh, she got a poop, just so you know. Take it, Nova. Really, a man? Yes. See how they treat you know Yeah, 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 yeah. Princess Gigi, I don't, I don't need her pooping on me again. This is my picture. Good, good morning, B Squad. Um, it's the next day. I forgot to vlog yesterday, but I'm back. Wake up, baby girl is up, okay? We're gonna give her a bath, right, mamas? <laughs> She's so precious. We're about to give her a bath, then I'm gonna take a bath, cause I have things that I have to do on this beautiful Sunday that I think that could have been prevented had it been done the first time, but it wasn't done right the first time, so now I have to clean up after it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Sunday is family fun day, so usually we spend time in familia, okay? Excuse the lighting, it's going like in and out because I'm using the sun and the sun is playing peekaboo right now. 
but i'm about to go give baby girl a, sh a bath and yeah let's go y'all i knew she was gonna wake up fussing for food so i was like so lazy so i literally pumped out milk and dumped it in this bottle because i just knew it. i knew she was gonna fuss um it was actually more than this and she drank like four ounces so imagine this was this bottle is nine ounce so yeah she drank about i would have filled up about nine ounces of milk completely um had i not given her some before because she was literally like a while and out because she was that hungry so look how she looking we're gonna let me go pick out something a onesie for her to wear because my mom is gonna be stay with her um while i go run my little errands because obviously it's sunday and lucy does not work on sundays so yeah my mom is gonna help me out so this is gonna be like our, literally our morning routine right this girl literally has so much clothes so i try my best to use as much well, I try to use my best to use them all before she doesn't grow out of it. Like, she's already grown out of more than, like, I don't want to say half because most people bought stuff that was big. Um, but the zero to three month stuff, my girl is fitting, like, pum pum shorts. Okay? So, yeah. All right, let's see. Turn the lights on. And let's get her bath together. Look at her just moving around, just moving around. She showered. And then... It's time to get her dressed, so we'll be back. Y'all, I want to tell y'all something. If you know anybody that, um, I have that going on in the background, but anyway, um, this diaper rash cream is so good. Like, when I, is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. This is called, bless you mama, it's called Infoderm. Um, you can only get this in Panama. They don't sell this in the States. And I don't know if they sell it on Amazon because I didn't, I didn't check to see if they sell it on Amazon. If they do sell it on Amazon, I'll look for it and leave the link in the description box. But I had, she had a problem with diaper rash when she was like first, first born. And hold on, let me fix this camera because I don't know why this camera. Is that me? Um, so yeah. She had, um, okay, I'm trying to get the lighting together here without y'all seeing the mess in my background. Um, but she, oh my God, why is it not going Okay, she had problems with diaper rash and I had bought, um, what's the name of that diaper rash cream from America that everybody uses? Don't remember the name right now, but um, by the time I end this video, I'll put the name right here so you know which one I'm talking about. And literally, it did not work for her. She had the worst rash ever. So I'm like, okay, let me go to the pharmacy. And mind you, it was like $20 for this type of rash cream. And I was like, all right, let me go to the pharmacy. Went to the pharmacy and I spoke to the pharmacist and I showed her the one that I bought. It's an American brand. And I was like, this is not working for her. Do you recommend anything? And she was like, honestly speaking, the best one is this one. Now I was looking at it and I was kind of skeptical because it was like $6 and the other one was 20 and I'm like, mm, this is $6, the other one was 20 and it didn't work. You know, sometimes you have that mindset like just because it costs more money, it's better. And that's not always the case. I asked, I said, how long is it gonna take for her, her rash to clear up? She was like, like two days. When I tell you, her rash cleared up literally the same day like okay i'm exaggerating i shouldn't say it cleared up but you could actually see the difference um in her skin in like the first like as soon as i put it on and then she was right in two days it was completely gone so i went back and i bought literally like six of these because i'm very like a hot mess i lose things all the time and i have these like literally all over the house i have one downstairs in the playpen i have one in her room i have one in my room 
uh, I have one in her baby bag. Yeah, it's that serious. And before I leave, because I have to go back to the States, don't know when yet, but I'm gonna make sure I stock up on these because they do not sell this in America, um, not that I know of. So if you know anybody that has a baby and if you're an expat and you travel the panel with your kid and you know they just happen to have get a diaper rash, I'm telling you, and you need, and you, whatever, whatever emergency you have, get this, okay? I'm, I promise you, I promise you, it won't disappoint. Here the baby goes. I give her her vitamin D drops. Oh, this way. I'm a mess, y'all. I give her my vitamin D drops before I used to put it in her bottle, but now I just give it to her directly to her mouth. This is always a task, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, And you have to do it really fast because she'll spit it out. All right, let's get that in there. Swallow, mama. Swallow. Okay, guys, so to clean her mouth, I usually get filtered water. And then I buy gauze. Now, you can get this in the pharmacy, any pharmacy, the Ray, and you get this whole pack for $10. Buying them, I used to buy them in individual packs. Let me take this off. I used to buy them in, um, wow, I look crazy. I used to buy them in individual, is my hand, is my hand okay, right, yeah? I used to buy them in individual packs, but the individual packs, uh, was coming out to be more money. It was like a dollar seventy-five, I think, for one, and two came inside the pack, and then they never had like enough, so I ended up buying this, this one. Anyway, so I get the gauze, I wrap it around my finger, and then I dip it in water, like so. She usually tries to eat this, but I'm gonna put her down for the sake of this video. But it's a, it's a mess, y'all. All right, mama, open up. Let me see your tongue. She's like literally trying to, to eat this. And then I don't put, a, like I have taco. I usually put like a little bit of taco under her neck. Um, not too much because she already has dry skin and the taco would like dry out her skin. But I also don't want the moisture to go in between the cracks either. So I wait about like five minutes before I put the the powder under her neck. Um, this is the one that I have right now. But there's one that's better than this. What happened, mama? Almond is really better than this, but I don't have none right now. So, this is just gonna have to do for now. I know I should have put this on before, but I like to wait, like I said. Okay, this is enough. Just a little bit, just so that it doesn't stick under her neck. Girl, my girl is whiny whiny. All right guys, so that's it for our morning routine. I'm actually going to um, clean up now and then I'm gonna take a shower, so yeah.
this she like literally takes a shower she usually falls asleep which is what's happening right now so i usually wait till she falls asleep and then i have a mirror if it's just me and a mirror i'll have a man just watch her while she sleeps and i take a shower so that's what's happening right now she's falling asleep She has a little bit of hiccups, but it's so crazy when you have a baby, how your life just changed drastically. But I think I'm better prepared now that I'm in my 30s than I was in my 20s. And I didn't do such a bad job because I mean, a good kid overall, so. <sighs> All right guys, so she's falling asleep. I'm gonna have to take advantage of this moment. I know when she's really, really sleep when the hiccup stop. So once the hiccup stops, I'm gonna jump in the shower. So by the time you guys see this next clip, I probably would be showered and she probably might be up. I'll be right, be right back guys. guys. So I am in the car. It took a while to get in the car because I literally had to pack up dirty clothes. I'm doing laundry. The baby, milk, all kind of stuff I had to pack up, but I'm gonna drop her off at my mom's house and then I'm going to the store and I'm going back to my mother's house. It's a lot. Guys, Sundays is yes in family, but I have to do laundry. I haven't done laundry in like two weeks. So could you just imagine the pile of clothes? that is there so i'm like literally sorting the baby is in a stroller right now because at my parents house she doesn't have anything really to sit in and she likes to sit above so she can see everything that's going on and a man's laying down on a couch watching youtube videos and i let me show you the amount of laundry i have guys like it's ridiculous I have this whole pile and over there I'm like I'm starting to sort and then the baby's clothes I wash separately so yeah pray for me guys I'm trying to wash clothes and she keeps whining so I had to put her in the stroller I had to put her in the stroller in order for her to be quiet look like this girl she won't let me be great I'm just trying to wash clothes right Gigi why can't you? Okay, she's behaving, so let me try to get to finish washing these clothes real quick because my girl is not allowing me to be great. Good morning, guys. So, my, I know this video is like probably so trashy because it's like literally all over the place, but I'm giving what I can give. I finished doing laundry yesterday at 10 p.m. Um, last night. Hi, Amir. Say hello, Amir. Don't be rude. I wasn't being rude. I was walking out. Hello, baby. I was walking out. And just happened to say hi to him once I was leaving. And uh, since he took it and took it to his yeah. don't be rude. Yeah, don't be rude. He's being rude to y'all, people. I was not being rude. I was walking out. And so she said, hi, Amir. And after one time I was happy. Amir's being rude to you people. Uh, all the people, all of you guys that always shout him out and always asking for him and defending for him. See, he's being rude to you guys. Anyway. I was rude. I was walking out. And she decided <laughs> to call me out. I was happy downstairs. And she was like, don't be rude. So I came back up and I said, hello. I'm not being rude. I'm just being. Rude. Once again, this nose ring making me look like I have a booger. I'm changing this nose ring ASAP. Anyway, I finished doing laundry at like 10 o'clock last night. So by the time I got home, I was exhausted. And there was really nothing for me to vlog because I'm sure you guys didn't want to see boringness. But 
Today is Monday, okay? Today is a Monday. You guys are getting a vlog on this fine Monday. Um, I am actually heading to the bank and I'm actually gonna go meet a friend for lunch. I'm gonna have lunch today. And then, um, what else do I have to do? Today is really actually like not much of a, I don't really have much to do today. Like today's actually a chill day. Orders went out. I'm actually finally got the girls in the store um, learning how to send out orders, how to get the orders from Lux and Labels. Um, so yeah, that's going pretty well. Today's actually my one year anniversary um, for Lux and Labels. So yay. Happy one year anniversary. We have this crazy sale, 30% off um, today. And yeah, that's about it. So let me clean up a little bit and well, let me clear off my bed and clean up, spread my bed. And then we're gonna head to um, the restaurant to meet up with my um, friends, yeah. I'm watching um, Quite Perry on YouTube. There's more, but. <laughs> yeah, I love watching YouTube. YouTube to me is more interesting than regular television. And I love watching the vloggers from Jamaica. Um, they're just, I don't know, they're just a vibe. It's a whole vibe. So yeah, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and I like watching his vlogs. So that's why I'm watching while I clean up. So yeah. And then um, tomorrow is Lucy's birthday, the babysitter. So I wanted to get her a cake. Um, we appreciate her. She helps me a lot when it comes to Gigi. When I tell you a lot, she helps me out a lot. Well, not only Gigi, both of my kids. So, um, I just want to show her that, you know, we appreciate her. So, guys, my um, lunch day got canceled. So, not, well, I can't see. Yeah, so my lunch day got canceled. The lighting is so bad. What the hell is going on? So, guys, my lunch day got canceled. My friend, she canceled on me, but it's okay because I keep canceling her too, so I guess this is payback. I'm actually going to go to the store because today's payday. I'm going to pay the girls. Um, and that's about it for my day. I don't really have much going on today. So, yeah, this is going to conclude my little video, my little vlog. Yep. Anyway, guys, if you like this video or if you love my content... Well, first of all, thank you for those who rock with me through the good and the bad, even when sometimes my content might be a little boring. Um, you guys still rock out with me. You guys still comment. You still share. You still do all those good things. So I thank you 100% for that. And um, you rock. So thank you. Um, thank you for those who have donated to the cause. Um, I promise you, from this going forward, content should be uh, uppity up, 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 or I hope. Anyway, guys, peace out. <laughs>